Hey guys. Today our topic is. Chain surveying. So move toward our today's. Topic. Chain surveying. Chain surveying. Is the branch of surveying. In which linear measurements are made in the field. Usually suitable for the survey of small areas. With simple details. And an area that is fairly flat. It derives its name from the fact that. The most commonly used instrument in the chain. It is the simplest method. Of detail survey. In which only linear measurements. Are taken in the field. In this method. The length of the lines marked on the field is measured. While the details from this line is measured by the offset. Principle of chain surveying. The principle of chain surveying. Is to divide the entire area. Into several triangles of suitable sides. Care must be taken. In the construction of triangles. So that the chain survey process can be smooth. As far as possible. The triangles form should be equilateral triangle shaped. And the triangle form should be a well conditioned triangle. Triangles that are almost very equilateral. Are known as ill conditioned triangles. Types of chains. Various types of chains. In common use as follows. Metric chain. Gunder's chain or surveyor chain. Engineer's chain. Revenue chain. Metric chain. Metric chains. Are generally available in the lengths of. 5 meter. 10 meter. 20 meter. And 30 meter. In this types of chain in surveying. Dallies are fixed at each meter length. Of 5 and 10 meter chain. And each 5 meter length for chains of 20 meter. And 30 meter length. So as to enable fraction readings a chain with less trouble. At every meter. There is a small brass ring provided. Except the places where the tallies are attached. Surveyor's chain or gunter's chain. A surveyor's chain. Or a gunter's chain. Length is 66 feet. And consists of 100 lengths. Each link being 0.66 feet. Or 7.92 inch in length. In this types of chain in surveying the length of 66 feet. Was adopted for convenience in length measurement. Has 10 square chains are equal to 1 acre. Also when linear measurements are required in furlongs. And miles. These chain is more convenient as. 10 chains make 1 furlong. And 80 chains make 1 mile. Engineer's chain. An engineer's chain. Is 100 feet in length. And consists of 100 lengths. Each link being 1 feet long. In this types of chain in surveying. A brass tag is attached at every 10 links. With notches on the tags. That are demonstrating 10 link segments number between tags. And end of the chain. Revenue chain. The revenue chain. Is 33 feet in length. And consists of 16 links. This chain is mainly used for. Measuring fields and cadastral survey. Advantages of chain surveying. The tools used to conduct chain surveys. Are simple to use. Chain survey. Is the simplest. And common method used in surveying exercises. The devices. Used in series surveys. Can be easily replaced. Disadvantages of chain surveying. A simple chain survey. Cannot be done in built up areas. It is time consuming. Chain surveying. Becomes a more complex method. When points are increased. In between the areas being surveyed. If you enjoyed our today's video. Then like. And share. Our today's video. And subscribe our channel.